Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today I have a super, super special Supply Crate Miss DX Racer Edition case opening. So, as you can see, in combat arms right now, gonna go to my inbox, gonna go and open up one of these cases and have a look at what we have got right here. Uh, hey guys, <laughs> this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under. Go and grab my camera, have, have a look here, boys. We've got a shipment from DX Race themselves. Massive, massive, massive thank you. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing for you guys and also a bit of a gameplay commentary with a bit of gameplay, you know, me talking about the chair and whatnot. If you guys want to skip to that, a button will be here, but also stick around for that unboxing. It's going to be a pretty good time. I just want to say before we start that this is not a paid promotion or anything along those lines. I needed a new chair. My back Breaking right here with this office works chair like Making these videos on this piece of shit. No comprende, no comprende. So DX Racer, they hooked me up with one of their chairs and in exchange I do an unboxing. I think that's fair and hopefully you guys enjoy the unboxing. Alright boys, so we've got this main section here. I'll get you guys a good peek at that one. Oh, it's got a bit of weight to it. You've got that red accent. It's got the black main body. Looking pretty nice. We'll chuck that on the bed for now. All right, boys, so here we have all the components before assembly. Woo, this is extensive. There's a ton of stuff right here. That's yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! All right, boys, after the extensive construction period, have a look at this beauty right here. Dude, this is insane. It, it weighs a ton. It feels so good. Look at the calculator. This is good for education right here. This is a good education chair, good gaming chair. But I'm gonna go and test it out now. I'm gonna go and get. I'll give it a few days. I'll be back with you guys. A few days. All right, guys. So it's been one week since I did the unboxing, and I thought I'd do a little bit of a first impressions review for you guys. I've put a ton of hours into sitting in this chair, either playing video games, doing my homework, watching YouTube, watching anime and whatnot. And I've gone and put this chair through its paces. I didn't want to go and do a first impressions, first first impressions review where I've barely sat on the chair because that doesn't make much sense, sense and that's what a lot of YouTubers do. They sit in the chair to say, wow, it's the best chair I've ever sat, sat on in my life and then they don't talk about the positives and the negatives because everything in life, it does have some negatives and I'm going to be talking about that. But for this chair especially, there is a lot of positives that definitely outweigh it. Now, this chair, the DX Racer King Edition, it is king size, hence the name. It is a lot bigger than what would probably be, you know, quote unquote, you know, necessary for me. I am a smaller type guy. Height wise, I'm about average. Weight wise, I'm definitely a lot less than you know what this chair is meant for. This chair's weight uh, restriction is 140 kilograms, I believe, and I'm definitely, definitely a lot, lot under that. So, the fact that this chair is, you know, meant to support a really, really bulky person, it's made of some really strong materials. You've got a ton of metal. You've got metal base plate. You've got these really, really strong materials. And for sure, this chair isn't going anywhere. And of course, it's not going anywhere. Of course, it has to be strong because as you can see, it is bloody, bloody massive. And overall, I like stuff that is bigger. I wear big hoodies, I wear big shirts because I feel it's comfortable and this chair is no exception. It's definitely big and that means I can go and spread out a lot more. It's I'm not really, you know, closed in or claustrophobic or anything like that. And overall, I think, you know, it does quite well for me. Could one of the other DX Racer chairs go and suit me like the Formula series? More than likely, those chairs you know, are what you see on LCS stages and Counter-Strike Global Offensive tournaments and whatnot. And I think those chairs would be more suited than me, but I'm not complaining about this king chair. I feel like I've, I can sit on it for hours on end and really no complaints in terms of the construction and in terms of the size. But what about the feeling of the materials? As you can see, it's made of this fabric and it's two tones. So you've got this red accents right here and that's one type of, you know, one type of fabric. And then you've got this meshy type stuff here. And overall, 
I think one thing I noticed in my old chair quite a lot is if I go and sit down for a recording, I would go and get very sweaty. My butt would get very, very sweaty because I'm talking quite loudly. My room, it's quite small. Air circulation, very, very low. So I'm just talking and talking and talking for like an hour straight trying to do these recordings. It, overall, the room gets very hot and overall I get, you know, a little bit sweaty. And that chair, you know, the, the sweat just kind of sticks to the chair. This chair doesn't have that problem at all. And so I can just sit in here, for, you know, hours on end and there's really no discomfort. And I feel like that is really, really good. Now, the backrest is something that I had to personally get used to. Well, not the backrest in terms of that little humpy thing that you saw. I took that away because I thought that was a little bit too much, you know, support for me. And overall, I didn't really need it. I kept the headrest, the headrest and the neckrest, sorry, absolutely beautiful. It just keeps it there and it just sits, makes me, you know, sit straight. And I think overall, this chair is meant for you to keep uh, straight up. And the reason why is because the material is very firm, especially when I first bought it, the material, especially this back material right here, very, very firm. Now I've sanded it quite a lot. It's loosened up, but it's still got that structure to it. The one thing with my old chair, I was getting a lot of back pain, a lot, a lot of back pain sitting in a chair for many, many hours. This chair, it doesn't do that. And even though initially it didn't feel very comfortable, after wearing in the fabric quite a lot, I feel like this chair definitely goes and provides on that front. Now, I said I was gonna talk about the positives and the negatives. There is one negative that I do wanna go and point out, and that is the armrest. I personally don't like these armrests at all. My old chair had these foldy down ones with a bit of fabric. These ones are plastic, so we're gonna go Put the camera down a little bit, there you go. And as you can see, pull this, so that slides it forward, forward, back, right? This one slides it up, but it, it's plasticky, and overall it's got this foamy material on the top here. It's like a little bit of a layer on, it's basically half a finger's worth, maybe a finger's worth of padding there. But overall, I don't feel these armrests really do much for me. But the fact that I don't use these armrests much at all, it's not really a negative or a positive, it's just kind of a neutral, it's a bit of a, a moot point for me. The plasticky nature kind of contrasts to the rest of the chair where it's very high quality, very a lot of fabric, a lot of really nice material. Here they've just gone with the plastic stuff and that might be good for some people. I was looking at some reviews and a lot of people liked it. Personally, it isn't to my taste. There's some other stuff I wanted to go and talk about. The neck rest. The neck rest is pivotal, absolutely pivotal. So I just went and put the neck rest there and damn, it is so, so bloody good. It works so perfectly. And the reason why I love it is I can just sit back and go like this and then just like that, and I can just game. I can just game, or I can YouTube and whatnot. And one thing I've been doing quite a lot is watching a lot of, you know, anime, a lot of YouTube, and this chair provides with the neck rest, and also provides with the tilt support. So the tilt support is, is great, and I think it's the one thing I've wanted in a chair for quite a long time, I can just tilt my chair back. So I pull this lever, pull it, uh, pull my camera down right here. I pull this lever here, as you can see my right arm, right arm there, do it, and see how it goes forward. But that's all right. I can just go like, ah, uh, ah, uh. see, I feel like it feels like you're falling, but that's the reason why it feels like you're falling is because on the left hand side, there's a little latch, right? There's this little latch and you can go and, you know, lock in the rocking motion or you can go and unlock the rocking motion. If you lock the rocking motion and you can just sit back 180 degrees, baby, and there you go. I could sleep in this, I could sleep, I could sleep in this chair in that action. But usually, you can just go that there and boom, you're back to it. So, I, I love this tilt function and I think that was like the thing that I 100% wanted in the chair and this chair definitely has provided for me. But saying that, the king chair, this DX Racer king chair, oh man, I am all, all for it. Would arguably, would the Formula Racer chair be a better suit for me? Potentially, potentially would be better because it's a size that is meant for 
a, like the average gamer size, you know, relatively, you know, smaller than, you know, small and skinny and whatnot. I wouldn't call myself, you know, super skinny, but you know, I've got a lo less mass than what this chair is designed for. Let's put it that way. With all of that said, the formula would probably be better suited, but the king, man, this is like dining in luxury. And overall, very, very thankful to DX Racer for sending this chair out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, make sure to go and give it a like rating. Make sure to go and smash that subscribe button. But with all of that said, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.